In 2017, Mongolia exported 32.2 thousand tons of meat, but this number dropped to 16 thousand tons in 2022. Mongolia's meat export faces several challenges that contribute to its lack of stability, including the failure to meet quality and safety standards. Industry experts note the importance of developing intensive animal husbandry for the success of exports. Intensive animal husbandry is a livestock production system that maximizes output by raising animals in confined spaces and providing controlled environments. This approach can support year-round meat exports regardless of seasonal variations. Intensive animal husbandry often involves regular health monitoring and disease control measures. Animals can be closely observed and preventive measures such as vaccinations, biosecurity protocols and veterinary care can be easily implemented. This helps minimize the risk of diseases that may be more prevalent during certain seasons, ensuring a healthier and more consistent meat supply. We can't export beef right now. To increase meat exports, we should create a secure zone where meat for export is produced. The secure zone must meet veterinary and sanitation standards. For example, if there are non-reproductive cattle, they should be isolated for 90 to 120 days and intensively fed under the farmer's control. Intensive systems typically involve constructing barns, sheds and feedlots that provide shelter and protection from harsh weather conditions. This allows livestock to be raised in a controlled environment, reducing the impact of extreme temperatures, precipitation and other seasonal challenges. Intensive systems focus on providing consistent and balanced nutrition to animals. This includes formulating specialized feed rations that meet the specific requirements of each livestock species. With proper feed management, animals can maintain optimal growth rates and productivity, regardless of seasonal fluctuations in natural forage availability. To develop intensive animal husbandry, it's important that farmers have their land for cultivation, as farmers need to prepare livestock feed. The Ministry of Food, Agriculture and Light Industry is working to develop intensive animal husbandry zones that meet all veterinary and sanitation standards in the western, eastern and northern parts of Mongolia. Currently, Mongolia exports its meat for low prices. The use of artificial insemination and other assisted reproductive techniques may also optimize breeding efficiency. This allows for more precise control of the timing of birds and enables year-round production cycles, ensuring a continuous supply of livestock for meat production.